Kozlowski, Ryan Blaney, they begin to get the work si uh, outside lane working. Here comes Ricky Stenhouse Jr. back into play for the lead. He wheels it to the outside of William Byron. They are side by side, just a couple of feet between them. Stenhouse by a nose. William Byron continues to ride the low lane while Ricky Stenhouse Jr. rides right down the middle of the racetrack. Behind, oh, Byron gets third. He'll nail Logano. Major crash. Right now, Eric Jones is involved. You've got others that are spinning and sliding and slamming into the wall. You've got Daniel Suarez. You've got Ryan Priest. Eric Jones, a massive crash on the back straightaway, triggered when trouble up front. William Byron got hooked and turned in front of the face of the field. Money Lion, caution flag number seven comes out on lap 162. It might be easier to tell you who is coming by unscathed, like Ricky Stenhouse and David Reagan, Kurt Busch, he's fine. Uh, Chris Busher, Kyle Busch, they're fine. Bagman. Not everybody fine, though. It all happened over in front of you, headed into turn number three. And it happened on the inside line with the lead car. Something went very askew that turned William Byron to the right in basically in the face of the field. Joey Logano got hooked. Eric Jones got it. There were a ton of drivers that got swept up in that. A lot of drivers were swerving left and right to avoid spinning race cars and crashing race cars. There are no cars on the back straightaway, just a slew of skid marks that find themselves ending in turn number three. And right now, at the wheels of William Byron, who has come to a rest on the apron of turn number three. Big, because Joey Logano, by virtue of stage point, was able to work himself into the top of the playoff bracket. Now, he has got the hood standing straight up on that red and yellow Ford Steve Post, and finally he's gotten his car to pit road. Yeah, he's able to bring that car into the pit road, into his pit box here, and I think probably with the assist of his spotter, I would guess, because he probably could not see out. Now the crew quickly gets the hood slammed down, and they're just, they're now working around all the, uh, that thing's not going to look pretty. They got a lot of tape they're putting on it to get the nose of that race car down to see if they can keep Joey out here plugging away at it here this afternoon at Talladega, and they continue to work on the front of the Logano Ford. Doesn't look pretty sitting there on pit road, but it could look pretty sitting in Gatorade Victory Lane. That has been a fast Ford Mustang all day today and yesterday, but caught up in this one, most of it appears to be superficial. Kind of the same thing we saw with Chase Elliott. We'll take a break, come back, and revisit what happened here on lap 162.